All right, today we're going to be installing the Edge Evolution CTS, and this is the monitor. It's pretty good in size. Uh, Jimmy Evans won this on our Edge giveaway on Facebook, so everybody needs to sign up. We'll be doing this every week. This right here is your monitor screen. This is your USB cable that uh, you do all your updates on. We updated this tuner uh, because Edge puts out a lot of updates. They uh, require that you update your monitor so you get the latest update before you install this. This here is your OBD2 port. This is your main power source of the uh, tuner itself. Uh, it's very simple. There's no wires that have to be ran underneath the hood. It is strictly OBD to monitor. And this is the uh, suction mounting kit to the windshield that they send with you. It's also very simple and this is your alcohol pad to clean your window. Um, they give you this packet here which has your fusion software CD in it. This CD is what you'll have to have to uh, download the software to get your latest updates on the tuner. Uh, next we'll be installing the tuner on a 2006 6 liter Ford. Now we're going to be installing the OBD2 port cable. Right underneath the steering wheel on the 6 liter is your OBD2 port. It's actually directly above the gas pedal. Right up, right up above it is the OBD2 port. We're going to plug it in. This is the Edge Evolution CTS plug. We've got it plugged in. Now we're going to run the cord to our tuner. All right, now we're gonna pop this panel off right here. It simply pulls out, like so. You wanna be able to run this cord back through here so nothing gets tangled up in your pedals while you're trying to drive. And then once we're around here, this crease right here in the door panel is where we're going to make this cord stay. And then it'll hook to the tuner up here. Alright, now we're going to put this panel back on that we got our uh, wires ran underneath. Snaps in. We've hid the wires right here in the corner. You can barely see it, and it tucks behind this whole seal going all the way up. So that way you just have a little bit of wire hanging out up top here for your monitor. Now we're gonna clean the window, put the monitoring screen on there, use our little alcohol pad. You can mount the monitor wherever you'd like to. Uh, most people like to put it in the corner so it's out of your visibility of driving. So we're going to clean a spot right here in the corner. Alright, this is a suction tube mount for the uh, monitor here. This is going to mount to your window. It has a couple different features. Here on the left allows you to rotate the monitor up or down. And on the back knob here allows you to rotate it any which way you'd like pivoted um, this attaches to the back of the programmer you have to remove this little piece of tape here you've got two slots on the back side these two fingers will slide in the slots and then press down like so then we're going to mount this to the windshield Putting the uh, suction mount to the windshield. We're going to put it right in the corner. Everything's on there good. All right, now we're plugging this plug into the back of the monitor, like so. Got the keys here. When you turn the device on, it's going to have a disclaimer that comes up three separate times through three different key cycles. 
Um, all the agreement says is uh, that you understand Edge's uh, installation and their agreement. You want to hit yes. And it'll tell you it'll be displayed three more times. Now when it comes up, you're going to have to select your vehicle, which this is a Ford. Uh, make sure your key is on the run position, which it is. Right now it's going to read the VIN number, which is going to basically VIN lock this programmer to this truck. And once it does this, we're going to go through a uh, series of questions it's going to ask us so we can set up our parameters and what the customer likes as far as to watch on the CTS screen. Right now it automatically comes up with your um, exhaust gas temperature on the left, your miles per hour on the center, and your boost pressure on the uh, right side. So what we want to do here is hit the main menu. Right now we're on current level stock, which that's where we're going to leave it for the time being. We hit menu again. You can go to programming, diagnostics, maintenance manager, options, or help. Right now we want to go to maintenance manager. Alright, on the maintenance manager, it basically, if you have bigger tire sizes on your truck and everything like that, you can uh, recalibrate the speedometer to fit that. Uh, everything looks good as far as that goes, so we're going to go back to menu. And options. Here in your options bar, this is where you can change your uh, parameters on your screen or you can split this display up. Alright, right now we're going to the screen layout so we can change the parameters up <coughs> of the uh, screen. And right now we're going to do um, exhaust gas temperature, boost pressure, and we might do some trans temp since this is a uh, automatic transmission. So I need to go down here, screen layout, and we're going to do a um, four gauge setup. Right there, everything looks good. So right now we're going to go do a dyno run on this vehicle. This is basically the whole install of Evolution. It's very sleek, very simple. Uh, only takes about 30 minutes to install. Cord looks good. Uh, so now we're going to do a dyno run on this stock truck. And uh, then throw the little horsepower to it and see what she does. Alright, we're going to do a stock run on the dyno on this 2006 Ford 6 liter. And then we're going to do one run with the uh, Edge Evolution hooked up. So we'll see what happens. See if you can set it up there about 60 miles an hour and get it to lock up. This is uh, level one on the evolution.
time, the truck's getting hot, and he's got some high pressure oil pump issues, he's got a really bad hard start, so kind of what we're expecting. I don't know if this truck's going to keep up. This is actually one of our Facebook winners, so this is the truck that we, uh, we haven't worked on before. So we're going to ramp her up to level two here and see what we get. We're going to run level three on the Evolution, which is actually the performance level. Because uh, we realize we've got some issues with this truck, and this gentleman's got to go all the way back to West Virginia from here in good old home sweet home Kentucky. So we're going to run one more window, 50 to 85 miles an hour. All right, Whitey.